Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. On April 23, 2024, during a joint press conference with Prime Minister Donald Tusk in Poland, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak announced plans to deploy a squadron of Typhoon FGR-4 fighter jets to Poland in 2025 to bolster its airspace defense as part of NATO's air mission in the Baltic Sea. In addition to this deployment, Prime Minister Sunak disclosed that the UK would send 16,000 soldiers to Poland as part of the ongoing NATO exercises, Steadfast Defender 24, running until the end of May. He also revealed the UK's intent to triple the funding of UK export finance available for Poland, increasing it from £5 billion to £15 billion sterling. Furthermore, he reaffirmed the UK's commitment to providing an additional £500 million in aid to Ukraine. The NATO air mission in the Baltic Sea is primarily aimed at monitoring Russian aerial activities in the region. NATO aircraft conduct regular patrols to detect and intercept any Russian aircraft approaching NATO's borders, ensuring the security of alliance member countries in the area. This mission serves to deter potential provocations or aggression from Russia while showcasing NATO's resolve to defend its territory and maintain stability in the Baltic region against any perceived threats from Russian aerial activities. The British Air Forces are predominantly stationed at the Lask Air Base in Poland, where they frequently collaborate with Polish forces and other NATO members in joint operations. The deployment of British forces at the Lask Air Base strengthens military cooperation between the UK and Poland, contributing to NATO's deterrence and collective defence efforts in the Eastern European region. The Typhoon FGR-4, powered by two Eurojet EJ-200 engines, boasts a top speed exceeding Mach 2 and a service ceiling above 55,000 feet. It is equipped with a sophisticated radar and sensor suite capable of supporting a wide range of operational tasks, from surveillance to precision strikes. This aircraft plays a crucial role in the UK's defence strategy, constantly updated and integrated with state-of-the-art technology to maintain its superiority in modern warfare. It has been deployed in various international missions, including patrols in contested airspaces and operations against the Islamic State. Initially designed primarily for air-to-air -air combat as the Typhoon F.MK2, the Typhoon FGR-4 has evolved into a versatile multi-role combat aircraft proficient in executing diverse air operations such as air policing, peace support, and high-intensity conflict. Pilots manage many essential functions through the aircraft's hands-on throttle and stick HODAS, interface, complemented by an advanced cockpit and the Helmet Equipment Assembly HEA, ensuring the Typhoon is well-equipped for all facets of air operations. While the Typhoon has undertaken precision attack missions in all its combat deployments thus far, its primary responsibility remains providing Quick Reaction Alert QRA, for UK and Falkland Islands airspace. Additionally, detachments have provided support to NATO air defense efforts in the Baltic and Black Sea regions. With a range of weapons at its disposal, the Typhoon FGR-4 can effectively engage various target types. In the air-to-air -air role, it utilizes infrared-guided advanced short-range air-to-air missile, OSRAM, radar-guided beyond-visual-range meteor missile, and the advanced medium-range air-to-air missile, AMRAM, in conjunction with the captor radar and pirate electro-optical targeting system, enhancing its combat capabilities. For ground attack and close air support CAS, missions, the Typhoon is compatible with GPS-slash-laser-guided enhanced Paveway 2 and Paveway 4 bombs, and the Brimstone-guided missile, often paired with the Lightning 3 targeting pod. Its standard loadout for armed reconnaissance and CAS roles includes the Lightning 3, Paveway 4, Brimstone, and the internal 27mm gun. The Paveway 4 offers cockpit programmable features for tailored target effects, while the 27mm gun is adept at providing warning shots or conducting precise attacks against light vehicles and personnel. That's all for now, see you later.